Hey guys, Aaron here from Departures Capital. Thank you for tuning into my stream. It's 10 a.m. We made it. We're going to be checking in on the stock markets right about now. So there has some, been some new news come out about Aurora Cannabis. We'll be taking a look at all that kind of stuff. Wow. The coffee is fresh. How is everybody doing today? Let me fire up the chat and then we'll get straight to business. What's up, Humble? What's up, Rapan? Yeah, I hope I said that right. Let's start the day with this, YouTube. Where's my coffee? I don't know, man, but I don't have the I don't have the green cup today. I've got the uh, gray cup. So we're going to be reading that article about Aurora Cannabis, uh, and then we're also going to check in. I noticed that ACB was in the green today. There was the markets are in the green, up about 0.3 to 0.4 percent. So that's good stuff. Wall Street rises ahead of Fed decision. Wall Street's just been on a tremendous rally after breaking 2800 again. And uh, I do think we're going to rally up to 2875. 2875 looks like to be the next point where we might run into a little bit of resistance. But we'll take a look at all that kind of stuff. Look here, I'm just trying to find that one, um, that one art news article about the Australian deal. There's still so much stuff about Nelson Peltz. Can group shows medical cannabis cultivation capacity. There was one about why Can group rocketed 11 percent here. 130 million dollar pot house. Pot house, greenhouse. What are we saying? Rally, rally, rally. What's up? Damn, 78 people in here already? Smash that like button, guys. What do you think of Harvest One? Boy, you trash. Good morning. Tesla. Okay, guys, we'll look. We'll look at that in just a sec. Just a sec. You know what we got to do first, though? We got to um, post a link to this stream in our Discord group real quick. And we'll be straight to business. I just want to uh, give all of our give all of our Discord members um, the notification that we. Uh, that what we is going on? Holy smokes! One hundred and seven people already. Smash that like button, guys, please. Let's get this stream to uh, five thousand people real quick. <laughs> okay, so. That's cool. Here's our Discord group. For anybody who doesn't know about our Discord group, now it's got over, geez, well over 200 people. Um, we're live now. Sweet. And now we will, we're gonna drop the link to the group in the chat just in case anybody wants to join. So just hit that. Hit that link and you'll join. You'll go straight into our Discord group, uh, live chat all the time for the most part. All right, Planet Thirteen, ACB News. Yes, sir. ACB News is coming up, like ASAP. So let's talk about it. Okay, 130 million dollar pot greenhouse coming to Muldura. Medical cannabis company Can Group says it will build its planned huge marijuana greenhouse in regional Victoria rather than near Melbourne's Tullamarine Airport. Can Group said on Tuesday it has entered into a non-binding agreement to buy a site in the Mildura for $10 million and plans for a 3.4 hectare state-of-the-art greenhouse there. Once finished, it will be the largest purpose-built medical cannabis production facility in Australia capable of producing 50 tons of dry flour a year, the company said. Can Group's Chief Executive Peter Crook said specialized components and materials went in, went, were in transit to Australia and site work would begin immediately. The company has a five-year agreement with Canada's Aurora Cannabis, which holds a 22.9% interest percent interest in Can Group. For the offtake of medical cannabis produced where 
in excess of what's needed for Australian medical marijuana patients. Can Group had previously announced plans to build the greenhouse at a site leased from Australian Pacific airports, but backed away after receiving estimates on how long approvals and build time would take. The site still may be used, Can Group said, and Maldura Greenhouse is expected to cost $130 million, funded through debt and equity this and should be finished by the third quarter of next year. Based on current cannabis prices, the greenhouse is expected to generate revenue of 160 to 200 million per year. So, Can Group shares were up 14% to a one month high. So, we can definitely take a look at Can Group. Mach 0808, what's up? Kyle Lowe, what's up? What's the big news? Uh, I was just reading it. Good morning, DC friends and Aaron's hair. That's for the early news. Zeus, oh wait, that's me. I know. My hair is uh, popping today. Didn't have, actually, it's got a little more volume. My hair is moving in high volume today. So, um, all right. Got that right. So, Shoot. All right, let's get into the portfolios and take a look at things. I like when I just wake up because then I can uh, surprise myself. So let's see here. Nice hair. What's what you? Oh, nice hair, Aaron. What do you feed it? Uh, last night I fed it lots of protein. Southern Oregon checking in. You look like I feel after. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe, for the $2 in the super chat. Appreciate it, man. Every dollar counts. And, um, yeah, I, I appreciate your support. Oh, my goodness, guys. Northland Power down 10%. Wow. We're going to have to take a look and see why. Aaron's the night prowler. You got that right, Aaron. Did you end up starting a position on tilt? Yes, sir. I did I did buy into tilt. So let's take a quick look. I haven't even looked yet that much at the market, so we'll see what's going on. Harvest one eleven percent, even co eleven percent. Oxy. Oxy is making a nice rally. So that's uh that's good. Kiosk beverages, T God, oh my goodness, five thirty nine. Might have to sell some tea guy today. Damn, why didn't I buy into that news? Match capital. Why is tilt like down or something? Tilt's flat. Yeah, tilt's flat on the day. Uh, yeah, it's flat. It was. It had a nice a run over the last couple days though. Me too. You know what? Very interesting thing, Tom. Check this out. Whoa, one sec, guys. Sorry. Just got some messages here. Um, I just wanted to show you something really cool. This was in our... Uh... No, no, no. It's not even a meme. It's just ironic how uh, we got a message saying... Seem to be as the cannabis industry source, so should the security and delivery transportation systems for the products they produce, of course, in, in a specialized emerging market for the marijuana industry, and should show and maintain hand in growth with the industry. I mean, there are millions of dollars in product riding in those trucks more valuable than armored trucks. Do you have any information on these related industries concerning stocks? I'll give you 0 0.5 seconds to tell us the company that, that we're talking about. Exactly. Oh, that's the wrong button. Safe. So safe is like the first thing that came to mind. And um, yeah, it hasn't been performing that well, but I definitely think that that stock has a ton of potential. So let me quickly just, uh, I couldn't find any more articles about the Aurora Cannabis and Can $130 million deal. But we can take a here. There's a couple more articles. 
We'll read those a little bit later. It's not too significant of a deal though. I mean, Aurora Cannabis, they already have their stake in the company. So, anywho, just, si just signed another contract with HVT1 and it doesn't move. What's up, Scooter Magooter? What's up, NB? Everybody's, uh, everybody's here today. That's good. So let's read a quick little article to see why the markets are in the green again before we get to the, all the portfolios. So stocks, Wall Street rises ahead of Fed decision. Wall Street surged on Tuesday as the Federal Reserve began its two-day policy meeting with investors confident of some accommodating conclusions from the central bank later in the week. The FOMC will make a decision on Wednesday on interest rates and it's all but certain to keep rates unchanged. So they're hoping on a dovish approach, I'm going to assume, to interest rates. Banking stocks were among the top gainers. Uh, Tesla fell 1.9% after the SEC told Judge on Monday. Elon Musk never sought approval. Gold was even up. That's, that's funny. Gold rally, gold's rallying like crazy during the market rally, so that's pretty good to see. Crude not doing too much. Gold's up to 1310. All right, guys, so I'm going to assume that you're talking about USD, ACB going to 11 USD. So let me just quickly, let's check in on ACB right now. 360 risk flat today. I think I'm going to buy a little more of that one. Hey Doug, I'm going up to 125,000 shares. Sorry, Max. Uh, I wanted to say I didn't get a chance to to uh, listen to all your messages, but feel free to chat to me in here, and then I'll get to the messages. I was just super busy last night, so I apologize. Sometimes I just get like this bombardment of messages from like everyone and try my best to always answer. So still have my order out. Patience, patience, patience. Thank you, Tank. Thank you, Tank. So, um, all right, let's just sort by gainers and losers. While Liberty Leaf making another bounce. Sorry, Max, we're taking a look at the, we'll take a look at the charts for T-God just as we're running. I might actually sell T-God today. It's ran like crazy and I'm break even now, I believe. My break even was like five bucks on T-God. So don't get too excited. I didn't really make any money on T-God. It's the only exposure, the only exposure I need to the Canadian market is the big whack of Aurora that I got. Maybe a couple other smaller plays. I'd rather put it in Ceneva. Ceneva or MedMen or um, Crop Infrastructure. Crop's not done a damn thing. Although it's up to 33 cents now. So, Dixie Brands, Tree Knowledge, Oscan. Oscan cannot catch a break. Holy crap, guys. Garen Life Sciences down 3%. It's still almost four bucks. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take a gamble on those companies. Pure Global Cannabis down to 19 cents. Pure has not performed. 360 risk. Okay, so we've got enough tabs open now, <laughs> and now we can start to look at a couple things. Remember, guys, make those memes, please. Smash that like button too. Holy. We already have 175 people in here and with with only 55 likes thank you thank you smash that like button the chat's lit today <laughs> chew needs a bounce my hair is my hair is what's up though holy crap okay so guys um we're gonna take a quick look at a whole ton of stocks but can i just get 
one little quick favor from everybody. I just want to make a post. And if you guys can make me look cool, can you just say hello? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just say hello in the chat. That's good. Yes. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Hey, cutie. <laughs> oh my god. Thanks, guys. Almost 200 people. And it goes on and on. <laughs> okay. Enough of that. Enough of that messing around. We'll get straight back to things. Thank you, guys. We did get one dislike for that, but it was worth the Insta post. Oh, so first thing I want to take a look at, 360 Risk Solutions. Um, and then I'll... Just got to finish this up. Bam. Karen, don't sell to you, God. let it run. Sorry, guys. Okay. I promise I won't get distracted anymore. Okay. Actually, I need my phone for the chat. Wow. What a mess. Okay. Chum and ACB mash in heaven. Please let them rise. Matt. Max, do you still have uh, Chum? Do you still have uh, the shares that you're holding in Chum? Let's see what MSIG's doing. I know. Uh, call that bounce. Nice. Man, MSIG is bouncing. Oh, shoot. DG stocks. Where are you? Where are you? There we go. Hell yeah. Um, you called that all friggin' day. That was an awesome call. Shout out to Ron for the MSIG. When that RSI slipped like crazy, basically never seen it go that low. That was a nice call on MSIG. Look at that, the MS, the, excuse me, the RSI freaking fell off a cliff there. Great time to buy the bounce. Like we've never seen it dip that low since like ever. The RSI has never been that low before and it fell off a cliff in one day. So that was a sweet bounce. <laughs> Good job, Ron. Good job, DG Stocks. Whoever was the one who called it out first. Give credit where it belongs. For sure, for sure. Um, okay, so ECB's up 1.5% again to 13.46. We'll take a quick look at the charts for ACB. I know this is what all, what all you guys probably want to watch, probably want to see probably want to talk about what's up on Cantrust, bruh. We'll take a look. I want to, uh, the RSI. Okay. So one thing I wanted to point out guys for ACB, the RSI is now moving well above 70. So we've only seen it this high a couple times. Back in 2008, when things got, you know, a bit. But that was actually the start of the rally. Like, we actually saw the RSI dip. We're seeing the RSI continue to climb here. It's actually climbing more, more than it did back in late 2008. So that's definitely one thing to watch on in terms of the technicals. PUF, PUFX and Agroflora. And hold that. I sold too early on ACB and T got in, lost out on large. 
So yeah, we'll see what happens for ACB. The rally momentum does look like it's kind of slowing down. We're up just 1% today. Obviously, it's not going to run 5 to 10% every day. We're not at we're not at cron yet. But I just want to simply compare a few things. MJ is one step from becoming law in New, in New Jersey. CGC is beginning to bi is beginning to business in Atlantic City. Why would you ever sell ACB? Yeah, don't really plan to. Got to take a look at my T God holdings though. I just feel like we're gonna look at the charts for T God now. Sorry, Max. Don't worry, we're not gonna throw out any uh, ten dollar price predictions. Because I know how you feel about this stock. So I don't intend to go wildly bullish on T God, but obviously, anybody who has T God, it is making a really nice run. <laughs> that doesn't mean I don't think T God's going to go up either for anybody who has T God. <laughs> I, actually, I actually have, we own the stock. So Aaron T God straight shot to $6. Yeah, it looks like it though. Um, what is your best? What was your best trade in your career? How much percentage? Um, I'd say your best trade. Yeah, you could you could do percentage basis, but I also think uh, it um, your best trade also means how much money did you risk or how much money did you make? But if from a straight percentage basis. Trying to think. I mean, everybody has their. That's such a tough question, man. It's nothing insane. It's between one and two hundred percent. I didn't have any like buy at five cents and sell at five bucks. I haven't had any of those like ten times, ten beggars. But definitely like. I mean, shoot. A really good trade was buying buying Canopy, Aurora, Cron, and uh, T God before the before the Constellation Brands deal. I mean, I made a killing on Canopy and uh, and uh, Cron and stuff. Doubled doubled Cron, doubled more than doubled on a free uh, Fortune Minerals. Made a killing on Fortune Minerals, but yeah, I don't know. Nothing like, oh my gosh, I turned a thousand bucks into like 20 grand. Because for the most part, I mean, I invest in a lot of dividend companies too. So let's look at MedMen. MedMen, 413. Oh, it's only up half a percent now. What the heck? Like I said, I hope MedMen doesn't start to run into some resistance around four bucks we'll see what's up here we'll see what's up i know a lot of people don't trust medmen but we own it i like the i just like the company Seneva is the next one we're taking a look at up 1.58 percent Seneva looks like it's continuously putting in higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. I think Seneva is one we're going to we're going to pick up a little bit of today. Although I don't Now that then it comes down to the markets. I don't trust this rally. It's just sometimes I'm such a bear. Chum is flat. Damn guys. All right, so one quick thing we got to do quickly is we gotta drop the link to our Discord group. So we might go into the matrix here for a quick second. If you haven't joined our Discord group, the link is in the chat. So feel free to join our Discord group. We've got over 200 people in there. We talk about stocks every day, whether when the markets are open, whether the markets are closed. Um, trying to grow this awesome community. And each and every one of you guys matters. We're gonna close MSIG, ACB we already looked at. Oh, shoot, man, why can't I look at Liberty Leaf? Come on. 
Liberty Leaf Holdings up another 8% today, up 13.5%. Wonder if this thing's ever gonna actually recover. It's all over the place. We'll see. Chatting and working at the same time, I'm already stressed out. <laughs> Tell them about the warrants being released from T God one at seven, eight, nine bucks. So yeah, I mean there was a really good video put out by Blaze Capital talking about doing your due diligence. And there's like hundred and thirty million dollars worth of warrants that are gonna be released at seven, eight, and nine dollars when T God hits those levels eventually. So We'll see what happens. Close the charts for Madman. Close the charts for... So, we're going to be looking at a few more companies. Oscan. Oscan always confuses me because it's like AC. It almost looks like ACB. Oscan has not caught a break. This stock has just gotten crushed. I don't know what to say. We're at 100, we're at 84 likes. Can you guys get me to 100 likes? That's only 16 more people that have to hit the like button. That'd be sweet. I'd appreciate that, guys. <laughs> Oscan, look at the technicals for Oscan. Strong sell all across the board. When's this thing gonna stop downtrending? User way up. What's up, Four Seasons, man? It's been a while. Where have you been? I haven't seen you. 100 dislikes income. Come on, Steve. Oh, we're at 99, guys, and somebody converted their dislike into a like. That makes me happy. Okay, we'll take a look at fire. But first, I wanted to just look at the charts for Oscan. Oscan has just been, uh, I don't know what to say when this stock's gonna find some support, around 20 cents. Hironaka, phone your bank about T-God warrant shares, also contact T-God. Talk about ACB, Shane Pascale. Are you Italian? Pascale. Um, thank you for those 105 likes. We'll talk about ACB in a sec. <laughs> yes, sir. Nice man, I haven't seen you in here before, but shout out to all the Italians. I'm half I'm half Italian. Went to Sicily last year. Beautiful place. Run up that like. But Bob Bob what? Z lazy half Italian, definitely a new face. Love the content. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um so Moving on, we're going to take a look at Huge today. Huge is having a less than huge day today. Let me take a look at IIP just after this one. So Max, did, <clears throat> excuse me, Max, did you end up buying your uh, T God shares? Hopefully you can get, or not T God shares, did you end up buying your huge shares? Hopefully you can get them on the dip today. I mean, I don't know if this was just a short-term bounce and we're actually gonna head down. We've already lost half those gains. Okay, so things are looking good for you. Hopefully you can get FST if it makes, an, if it makes a double bottom here at like 20 cents. Where's the MSIG team at? You're the MSIG team, DG Stocks. So, all right, um, next company. Yeah, we're taking a look at IIPR. Crop infrastructure is down to a buck. Sorry, down to 32 cents. Fire keeps under the radar will explode eventually. So who asked me if it's time to take profits on IIPR? My question is, hey buddy, updates on Namaste Technologies. We'll take a look in a sec. IGC. Honestly, I don't know what to say about IIPR. This stock is on fire. It keeps going. And um, mediocre rapper. <laughs> That's a great name. Yeah. So 
Told you Can Group is a buy. Can Group's doing good. Aleph is on TSX now. So it's hard to say for IAPR. We're, like we're in uncharted territory right now, right? We're right up there at 52 week highs. So very interesting to say the least. But it's hard to say how long how long this stock's gonna run for. Um, could it hit a hundred bucks potentially? But. The stock is having a tremendous run today. It's up to 88 bucks. The chart is getting a little steep for me. That's one thing I want to say. In this recent move, oh, the recent move up was on pretty good volume. One sec, let me just take a quick look and see what are our technical indicators telling us. I mean, RSI is moving up but it's been that high before. It's been much higher before. So, I mean, it looks like a pretty healthy rally, but I would be cautious, you know, eventually if people, if the markets go sideways, but we've kind of been waiting for that and the markets just keep rallying. So, <laughs> man, T got is at 5.53. I can't wait till all these stocks crash. <laughs> See what happens, Maximilian. We'll see what happens. 360 risk. Okay, so Northland Power is down 9.5%. I want to figure out what the heck happened here. Substantial drop. Northland Power reports Q4. That's not it. Canada Clean Tech Company struggled despite Ottawa's green goals. That's from 2017. Okay, I just got to take a look. I never ended up buying Northland Power. But I don't know why the stock's down so much. Let's see the news. We'll take a look at Can Group in a second. Announces seven hundred and fifty million dollar off secondary offering of common shares. They're just diluting their shares. Northland and its syndicate of underwriters at CIBC, which da, 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 32 million common shares. Wow. Offering price of 23.35 per share. So we're just seeing massive dilution. Okay. That's a substantial, they're taking on a substantial amount of shares. 750 million. That's like, 20 15 to 20 percent of their whole entire market cap okay seems i always buy the slow movers another huge runner another huge runner call today let's go dg i want to i want to see your picks let's see what you got why why did i not buy can group Can group. All right, let's take a quick look and see what can group's doing. Aaron, don't forget about fire. No, sir, I will not. This is not the stock that we're taking a look at. I don't think so. Yeah, sorry. So we're taking a look at fire now. De Guido, who is that? How do you see Grover eighty eight? What's up? <laughs> who is that? That only only people who know me call me that. Tell me. Who is who is it? Hello, Ching Li Shu. <laughs> Ching Li Shu. Hi, friend. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? GZ Reppin. Yo, who is that? Tell me. <laughs> I 
I want to know who. <laughs> Damn. How high do you see ACB going during this time? Good morning, Aaron. Did I miss your today's take on ACB? Um, we'll look at those in a sec. Tesla, et cetera, et cetera. Today, today's take on ACB, there was a bit of news. This was another article. No, no, no. This was the same article. So basically, there's a $130 million greenhouse coming to Mildura in Australia. The land costs 10.5 million. Can Can Group is the one that's building it, and um, Australia, Australia, Aurora Cannabis. So the company has a five-year agreement with Canada's Aurora Cannabis, which holds a 22.9% interest in Can Group for the offtake of medical cannabis produced there, in excess of what's needed for Australian medical patients. So ACB has a five-year agreement with Can Group and a 22.9% interest. Could MedMen blow up? We're still bullish on MedMen. Still own a bunch of MedMen, so... Yep. I mean... I'm buying into the MedMen story. A billionaire strategic advisor isn't a billion dollars investment, is it? No, but the, the reason it's rallying is because for the potential that it could bring a billion dollar investment. And they they just feel like he's the dude to do it, right? So we'll see what happens. I'm still curious who that was. Sis Grover eighty eight, like, tell me. <laughs> so um, all right. Close up some of these tabs. Yeah, that was the other article on Can Group. But they're, it's pretty much the same information, just written by someone else. This actually might have a little bit more information about... Here, this has a little more information. So if you guys don't mind, I'm going to read this one little article. So it's a little more in-depth. Under new agreement, Can Group will construct a state-of-the-art large-scale greenhouse, northwest Victoria's Mildura's region. Da -da 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 -da. $130 million to construct. We already know that. Targeted for end of 2020. This puts us in the same build start timing as was originally envisioned for Tillamarine and consistent with our strategy to develop a hub and node model for regional cultivation facilities. Blah, 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 blah. Offtake agreement with Aurora. So I think this is what we care about. We don't really care about, well, Can Group is one thing, but. In addition to securing the Mildura State, Can has locked in a five-year offtake agreement with one of the world's largest and fastest growing companies. <laughs> Under the agreement, Can will supply GMP processed dry flour, extracted resin and medical cannabis to Aurora until 2024. <laughs> yeah, guys, hit that like button. Already 114 likes. Today's awesome. Securing offtake with Aurora is a key milestone for the company that is expected to both underpin the anticipated value generated with our expansion program and mitigate the risk associated with that investment. So we firmly re we remain firmly committed to satisfying the domestic market as a priority and agreement with Aurora should enable us to meet the commitment. Setting up scale is an important focus of CAN and developing export pathways such as this are vital to enabling us to achieve that scale, so yeah, pretty much the same thing. It's gonna generate 160 to 200 million in annual revenue, which is pretty good. As the surging medical cannabis market, which is expected to be worth 100 billion by 2025. So it's cool to see ACB getting into all these different countries, with all these different companies. Okay, I'll check my Instagram. He is, he has a, what? Okay, one sec. Tyler. Thanks, bro. Look what we just got here, guys. We just got a DM. Oh, yes. Got a mustache on. That's hilarious. Okay, so... What's next? What's next, guys? What's next is taking a look at our next 
watch list. <laughs> um, man, the S and P 500 is having such a nice rally. Holy, jeez. But one thing that I think that's insane is the fact that gold is just continuing to rally like as we move up. Um, Alifia that, Alifia that. Okay. We'll take a look at Alef in one second. I just want to quickly look, see what's up for tilt. Technicals still look really, really strong for tilt. We'll see if tilt can keep running. Oh man, T God's up 5.5%. I just want to quickly go in and see what the average is on T God. Because uh, I know people were talking about it's a straight shoot to six bucks or even seven bucks, but we're gonna we're gonna see right now. Do 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 A B C A C B No. Um Darn. The green organic oh it's not in that account. Forget where T got is. Here let me just find it real quick. Honestly, um I've just been waiting for T God to break even. So that'll be nice. The green organic Dutchman. How am I still down 1% on this thing? That's annoying. <laughs> it's up 9.22%. Interesting. We're up 90% on Aurora Cannabis. Damn. Anyways, um, yeah, it's time to go shopping. We'll see. Hopefully, hopefully, T God. That's right. Holy, what am I doing? Thank you for reminding me. There's the first tea shot, but that's uh, that's some tea left over from yesterday. <laughs> I made. Uh, I made a new batch, so don't worry. Just uh, con just finishing steeping it off, and then we'll get right back into these stocks, guys. I know we lost about 10 viewers, but... Sorry, guys. Has T guys sold a crumb yet? <laughs> Finally, bro. Speaking positive energy that we all make good choices and get positive returns on our investments. Joyce Ward. Yes, I like your I like your positivity today. Going to be selling 20% of Aurora once it hits 15. Held so long time for a bit of a profit soon. See, that's what I think is gonna happen. That's that's what I think is gonna cause the first pullback. Oh, with the raw cannabis, I think that you know, it's gonna get to a point where the Nelson Pelt deal and everything momentum's gonna kind of start to fade away a little bit. And unless we get obviously, you know, another deal, unless we get a deal or something that that could shoot Aurora up to obviously like, if we got a huge beverage deal or whatever consumer products deal, ACB would probably go to 20 bucks. But if we don't get any new news, the market stays healthy. I think we'll drift higher, float higher, maybe to like 14, 15. Well, we're almost at 14 already, maybe 15. And then we'll see some kind of pullback. But I think, I think the trend remains intact, but we will see some pullbacks. But yeah, ACB would be somewhat overvalued if it went to 20 bucks, of course. But I just think that like if they got that beverage deal or they got that whatever it might be deal from a big company that the stock would definitely run. Cron, just look at Cron, Cron, Cron. You, if 
you want to talk overvalued, talk about Kron. That's just my opinion. So anyways, buy U.S. pot stocks, people. Lucas Oak. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, the next play is definitely the U.S. market. So quick question, Lucas, since you're saying buy U.S. pot stocks. What are the companies that you're looking at? And Alifia Health has been requested 19,000 times, so we're just going to take a look at the charts because that's what we do. We listen to the comments. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry it took me so long to look at Alifia. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so look at Harvest One. Thank you for sharing, Dan. Potstock News press relief. So T God reports today. It's is after the close. Potstock News is asking for my email. Here, let's just do it on the computer. Um, we'll take a look at the charts for Alifia Health in two seconds, but I'll pull up the full charts. For you, I hope my head's not in the way. Here, let me, let me just make myself a little bit smaller. Oh shoot! Wait. No. Okay, we're gonna be a little tinier today, just so you guys can see the charts. I know I'm not that important. Uh, let's close this crap. Up. All right, so most time, most time, a good report comes out, stocks will drop. So, good morning, Mark Douglas. Love that American flag, Glenn Treef. After the close, all right, cool. So we'll have to uh, <laughs> scooter Magooter. Thank you, sir. Okay, <laughs> I'm important, I guess. Let's take a look at this article that we just got fresh off the press. Can it be growth and DNA genetics extend and expand relationship? No. Da -da -da. Smith Falls, Ontario and Los Angeles, California, a world leading diversified cannabis company and OG DNA and OG DNA Genetics, that's a pretty sweet name, a globally recognized cannabis brand, are pleased to announce today they have signed an agreement to extend and expand upon their previously announced partnership through 2024 with uh, this newly signed agreement, Canopy and DNA, have extended their partnership. Well, that's a long one. Check out that article for any Canopy shareholders. Haven't looked at the charts for Canopy in a little while. So that might be, it hasn't been performing that great. I know it, I haven't seen it make any big moves, kind of drift sideways. RBC's lending Evenco 18 million to construct Canopy's greenhouse. That's why Evenco is up 11% today. So this that article is one of the top articles here. Blah, 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 Tilray revenue grows 204%, which, uh, I don't know why they make it sound so great because the street was expecting 17 million. How cannabis stock promoters are taking advantage of investors and operations. Excuse me. No, I'm not a stock promoter. The real fake news, stock promoters target cannabis companies. Yeah, so <laughs> MedMen, uh, America is where it's at. Bye, bye, bye. Yeah, I never tell you guys to buy. It can be rivers part of CGC. It's like their venture capital investment arm. So that's an that's an interesting article to read. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much to the industry. Terrasen announces four point eight million dollars. Canvas Re Tre Treehouse raises forty five point five million. So this one, they're working together with MedMen. Guys could, should take a look at this. Uh, Treehouse 
Treehouse Real Estate Investment Trust, I believe they're working together with MedMen. So should probably just quickly check in, see if there's any mention of MedMen. No, it's just MedMen raises 18.4 million through real estate sale and leaseback. Always. The heck is this? Okay. We're just gonna jump right back into the uh, some different charts here. We're not gonna take a look at Liberty Leaf Holdings. T God's on fire. So I wanna might get rid of T God on this rally today. If we see double digits, oh, I don't know, guys. If I should hold into the quarter. What do you guys think? One more day of holding T God. Are they gonna have a Are they gonna have a good quarter? What, what is the the take on T God? Are we gonna hit six bucks by tomorrow? Okay, I'm not in any rush to sell, so I'll definitely hold on. But definitely looking to take some profits on T God. But I don't know if I'll. I don't think I'll put it back into ACB. At least at these levels, I I don't think so. I just, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, if I sell T-God, I'll probably buy, uh, well, tilt, Tilt's dipping a little bit today. What was I going to look at? I got to look at a few boring stocks real quick here. I'm not going to look at the charts. I just want to see what the prices are. BMO's down. Oh, my gosh. Royal Bank. I just want to see what Royal Bank's trading at. Got some remaining shares in these. In these banks that I want to dump, and they're performing like crap. Uh, BNS. Okay, let's see what we got here. What up, DC? Forgot about the stream, about to smash that like button. Thank you, 126 likes. Awesome traffic today, guys. Wow, Bank of Nova Scotia is in the green, but this thing needs to just come up a couple more percent. I'm trying to get rid of the Canadian banks right now. It's been a garbage performer this year so far. 66 to 73, that's like dismal. So let's take a look at a few more things here. S&P, S&P's mildly in the green. We're gonna be going to our stocks for 2018 watch list. Kira, I just sold Chu, made 250 bucks. Are you gonna buy FSD now, Max? Is it the time? Is it the time to buy FSD? Took that tea shot. I got this really cool water bottle. Yes, sir. T R U L going to pop if it breaks sixteen sixty. Oh, okay, so FSD. <clears throat> excuse me, FSD Pharma is the biggest decliner in our stocks to watch for twenty nineteen portfolio as of today. So. FSD might be time to buy the dip max. We're down to 22 and a half cents here. I'm buying 4,000 shares of water, flip it at 420. That's a good number. Uh, first mine gold, alkaline water. Alkaline water is down to, th whoa, whoa, hold on a sec. 379. I still think water's going lower, man. I still think water's going a bit lower. Fortis taking a dip. BCE Canadian Utilities selling off a little bit. Brookfield, we're not even getting any kind of sell-off for these utility companies. Very frustrating. But I am happy that I waited a tiny bit. What are we buying today? What are we buying today? Maybe. BTB REIT. Uh, we're seeing Chinese stocks slow down. The rally. J 
jd.com 2828 i kind of want to sell it at 30 and 10 cent 47 14. power corporation of canada oh so frustrating This song's terrible, one sec. Damn. And Manual Life is such a annoying stock. Okay guys, <clears throat> finally I've been saying all morning. North Bud. So guys, uh, let's see what time is it here now. It's almost 11 o'clock, okay, sweet. So I'm gonna make myself a little bit bigger now. My ego shrunk a lot when I was really small. <laughs> CPG, honestly, man, we own some CPG. We own like more CPG than I want to own. Dividends gone, stocks down like crazy. Oil sands aren't, ugh, the oil needs to get above 60 bucks a barrel. Then we'll see some kind of appreciation, at least for this stock price. It was like a psh, straight shoot from 850 all the way down to four bucks. Now it's just too cheap to sell it off. I mean, we'll see what happens, but I don't intend on adding anything to the oil sector in Canada until, um, we get Trudeau out of there, you know what I mean? Trudeau needs to get the boot. Anybody who likes Trudeau, I'm sorry, guys. It's going to take Canada 26 more years to buy, to build a pipeline. So, good luck. The only thing he cares about is uh, Quebec and Ottawa. The rest of the country can go downhill and he probably wouldn't care, which is sad. So we're not going to get into politics here, but yeah, Trudeau needs to get the boot. And uh, we need we need someone who knows like something about business. I mean, Trudeau's I feel like Trudeau has an arts degree. I feel like that's what he would study in uh in in university so anyways uh yeah so alkaline water as aggressive as trump is i mean trump if, if we had a canadian version of trump in in some aspect at least he would get something done trump gets stuff done maybe he's like a bull in a china store or he's like a a, a bulldozer in a china store but at least he gets stuff done I can respect that. So, Trump's a Trump's a effing tool. <laughs> That's funny, Max. Um, he would have made a great camp counselor. Yeah, <laughs> I could see Trudeau wearing some really high shorts with like a cheesy little belt, shirt tucked in, um, with his camp camp with his whistle. I came in for ACB because that's what the title of this video is. Why not change your mood and talk about ACB for now? Jerry C. Okay, sir. Um, well, the thing is, the stream's been going for an hour, and I can't talk about ACB for an hour. We did talk about it at the start of the stream, but I also can't expect you to join right when it goes up. But, well, since you asked, um, I'll quickly go back to ACB just for a second there. Basically, it's okay. Um, basically, the news for ACB was that Cannes building a $130 million greenhouse in Australia, and they're obviously in a supply agreement with Aurora. So Cannes stocks up like crazy, and that's great for Cannes. That's great for Aurora, and um, it's great for the Australian medical market, essentially, is, is what the news is. And the article's right here. So you can find it if you want. $130 million pot greenhouse coming to Maldura. 
just search Aurora Cannabis $130 million Australia and you'll be able to find that. So, what's up, Lindy Lou? Right on, Andy. I'm a yellow vest as well. I don't really like how you're making marijuana sell sell out to the industry. Sorry, I don't get the uh, comment. No problem. Why is ACB not boosting up after the news? Well, <clears throat> I go to the greener side. Everything was prepackaged. Oh, I get what you're saying. <laughs> Sell? I hope Alifia makes a deal with ACB. Well, let's try and predict it. This globe's trippy. You mean sell. Oh, I get you. <laughs> More so for the other co. So. <laughs> I don't know, Steve. Sorry, your comment got uh, your comment got. Here. <laughs> the news release of Aurora hasn't been released in North America. <coughs> Yeah, no one can find it. No one really can find the news yet. If T got dips after report, next rally will be 2021. So that's one more thing we'll check out real quick. And then uh, we still got 150 people in here, which is awesome. Mr. Icy Mood, F the haters and F the trolls. Oh my gosh. Um, yo, you guys should make some troll memes. That'd be awesome. But what was I going to look up? Oh, yeah. So, T-God earnings. Make sure you have cons consent to smash. Okay. So, we're going to go to the Green Organic Dutchman. We're going to go to their website. See what time we can jump on the conference call here. Ontario. I was born in 1901. There we go. Okay, investors. This site's pretty easy to, pretty easy to uh, navigate. So, cool info. I just want their press release, financial information. Insider trading majority. What the heck is this? Analyst coverage. Upcoming events. Patience. If anybody, if anybody knows where I can find their live. I'm looking for their, I'm looking for the conference call. If anyone can find the, that's just news, financial information. This site's not as easy as I thought. Okay. Give me one sec. The green. Let's see here. Conference call, no reservation. Needed investor information. This is the same. This is the same link. We'll have to find it later, guys. If you guys know where to find that, we'll take a look. I don't think we're going to be able to. OK, so maybe we'll just uh, search webcast. virtualinvestorconferences.com September 12th we need the most recent quarter anyways um, we won't spend too much time getting to that we'll take a look at a few more things oh and um, yeah that's uh, another thing I wanted to talk about 
This was something uh, that I should have talked to you guys about a little earlier. So when there was a couple more people in the room, doesn't really matter though. I just had a quick question for anybody who, who here is in like the Ontario, <clears throat> excuse me, who here is in the Ontario area or New York state that's looking to go to the Niagara 420 Expo? Cause we'll be there. I'm just curious cause we're, we're help. We're working with the company that's arranging this event. So we'll have like a booth there and I'll be bringing some people along. So feel free to check out <laughs> 10,000 kilometers away. Holy smokes, man. Yeah. So feel free to check out the Niagara 420 Expo. It's a celebration of all things cannabis. There's over 20,000 square feet cannabis exhibitors. So it should be lots of fun. Stevie, where, where are you located? You don't got to tell me like exactly where, but are you by Niagara or within a couple hours driving distance? I'm trying to invite, I'm trying to invite everybody. I know investing hustlers coming with me. Um, Rich can't make it cause he's out West. But yeah, you guys should, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys should check this out. It should be lots of fun. Uh, Calgary's a little bit of a stretch, so. It's up to you, man, if you want to fly out. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I'm trying to arrange my schedule to go there. That'd be awesome. It's on 420, literally 420, so Niagara, 20, or, sorry, April 20th. But I have some family at Toronto Niagara Falls. We'll visit one day, I hope. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Will I get a Capital Departures shirt? <laughs> I haven't decided if I'm going to have merch there to give away. But I'll definitely do some kind of giveaway. <laughs> so. Are you streaming live from the expo? That was another thing that I was thinking about. You know what? I probably should do something like that. I plan to do something fun like that. I'll take my stuff along with me. Do like a, <laughs> um, yes, I'll have a booth. So we'll have like a full booth with all our stuff there. And, uh, we'll have a huge keg of tea. Oh, well, that tea's getting strong. So anyways, guys, I just want to quickly do a few more things before we wrap up this stream. Oxy is up 10% now, up to almost a dollar. So you can be like tool booth, Willie. So Oxy's up almost 10%. That's really nice to see. ACB's holding steady, up about 1%. I'm not serious about the keg of tea, but that'd be awesome. <laughs> Alifia is looking pretty interesting right now. The charts are looking pretty good for Alifia. Like we could potentially see some kind of breakout to the upside. I like this kind of pattern. Technicals for Alifia Health are pretty strong right now. I'm going to do a little more research into Alifia Health, but this is one that I've watched for a very long time. Probably one of the only other stocks I would add to my portfolio because I'm not really looking to add any new cannabis companies per se since we just picked up Crop and uh, Safe. So, got to decide if I'm streaming later today. I need to go get a haircut. <laughs> so, I'll get my haircut and that'll be good. And then um, might jump on a little bit. What day is it today? It's Tuesday. Might do a uh, aftermarket live stream. I think, you know what? I'm going to shoot all day, shoot my market minute video, and then I'm going to stream after hours for, ooh, excuse me, I'm gonna stream after hours for T-God earnings. So we'll just, Go over the report. Don't dare you leave just yet. <laughs> Mr. Icy Mood. 
Sorry, bro. The comments keep getting flagged. Um, anyways. <laughs> JD.com in the green. Oh, I'm so tempted to take profits on JD.com. I don't know. Alibaba. Baba looks like it could keep running. We're closing off most of these tabs here. So I'm going to post that link one more time to the Discord group. For anybody who's stuck with me for the whole stream, thank you. So, Amira Brookfield. Renewable energy partners. Oh, the stock has ran too much, but I want it. Get pump up before going live. Drink a Red Bull. Maybe I'll go to the gym or something. I'll do like max bench and then I'll just come here and <laughs> 3581 Canadian utilities is rolling over a little bit. If Canadian utilities rolls back to 35, oh, it's a tough one. This stock has ran so much recently, but I almost feel like this is the kind of Yeah, closer to five. I'm going to add a little bit to that one. Brookfield Renewable Energy Partners. Fortis is dropping a full percent. Dividend yield on Fortis is pretty weak, though, 3.6%. Too high, in my opinion. You should be getting at least 4%. 4.8%. What about Hydro One? Let's take a look at Hydro One. If Hydro One's, oh, Hydro One's up. Damn. Okay, okay. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, so, sorry, I thought you. Were, sorry, I thought you were from Denver. What's a good price on Hexo to take profits? Does ACB need liquor or edibles? Um, yo, what's up, Jay? I can do a little more than 185. I know I did 185 for about uh, four, four or five reps. And that was after a bunch of stuff, which surprised me because I've only been hitting the gym hard for the last like two months. So starting to finally see some results. <laughs> it was all that time spent in China, honestly. I don't know what I was... Well, I know what I was doing, but... That that wasn't working out at the gym. <laughs> Security, James Shaw. So safe safe is a safe is a security stock. I mean they're like a here. 360 risk solutions. Is that what we were looking at? <laughs> so if you go to 360 risk solutions, I mean, it's, you can, you can watch a couple of the videos. A boot. <laughs> That's right. So, I mean, there's services, high security standards within our industry, security management, security audits, security training, threat and risk assessment. Places short and long-term security agents in strategic lo locations around the globe. So armed and unarmed guarding. I mean, transport, secure transport. Maybe you were just looking at the wrong company. You got to check 360 Secure Corp. It's all about security. They work with a lot of the big LPs, Canopy, and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. I think I might add a little bit to this one today. So I didn't buy anything yesterday. Yesterday I actually sold. Sold Manulife and I sold Power Corporation of Canada, but the market's rallied again today, which is pretty annoying, so it's okay. Please share your thoughts on Tesla. Very interested in getting some perspective from someone more experienced than me. Oh man, Tesla's such a controversial stock. Personally, I don't invest in Tesla because I just don't like the automotive industry. I just don't like the car manufacturing industry. I don't know enough about it. 
I guess you could say. From a technical perspective, though, I definitely think that we're going to see Tesla hit lows of like 250 and then maybe make a bounce. In terms of Elon Musk, he's a wild card, but he's a visionary, so I like people like that. But at the same time, that can cause massive volatility within the stock. Tesla is what it is today because of him. It's just investing in a company like this, you're investing partly in, in Elon. Like, you just believe in him. He's the visionary. My only concern is that, you know, as long as Elon's around, I feel like Tesla is going to find a way to make it. But if something ever happened to him or he got way too out of control, that could definitely have a negative impact on the stock, as we've seen. So, yeah, it's a tough one, honestly. Tesla at these levels look pretty good, but I definitely do think it could go down to 250. Long-term electric cars are the future, so, but the, the industry has a long way to go. So that's just my opinion. And the SEC is on Elon's ass, so. Exactly, exactly. So Tesla is valued as same as many established car manufacturers. Now don't forget, like we're in, the electric vehicle market is in a growth market. It's it's a higher growth sector. There's higher growth expected for the sector, so it's like that's why the valuations are, are bigger, because they expect the company to be able to capitalize on that shift when it does come full force to electric vehicles, but I don't think it's going to happen as fast as we thought or as fast as some electric car bulls might think so. But anyways, cool company, Tesla. It's a success story so far, but there's it doesn't come without risk, obviously. So invest in stuff you believe in. If you believe in Elon and Tesla, then yeah, but there's always a bullish and a bearish case to everything. So do your research, do your due diligence. That's all I got to say. But anyways, guys, oh, shoot, all these good questions right when I'm about to leave. Uh, yeah, Jay, I definitely look at the uranium market. Check out my, uh, I don't know if you got time, but I did an interview with this uh, guy from IMT, International Montoro Resources. He's talking about the uranium market, just saying how right now at 25 bucks a pound for uranium, no one's really that excited about it but if we get back up into the 50 60 dollar level for uranium prices then we're going to see it skyrocket but he figures the uranium market's still a couple years out so maybe like two to three years out before we see big gains in the uranium sector cameco has done pretty well though but i'm sorry guys i really got to go because i need to get a haircut but i'll be back i'll do one more stream today for you guys and um yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you for tuning in. I'm sorry I, I don't want to go, but I have to. Smash that like button. Oh, wait. Wait. I got to post the link to the Discord group one more time. <sighs> I'm as bad as these trolls. Okay. <laughs> it is a haircut day. So you guys are, this, this might stay. But the side's definitely going to get a, a nice little fade going. So anyways, I'm out of here, guys. Great stream today. I hope we do good. Um, hope T God goes well. And if I don't see you before the market closes, we'll see you soon. <laughs> yep. <laughs> gang, gang, gang.